Now at least eight people have drowned in the Lone Star State. At least nine people have been killed after torrential rain in Germany's Bavaria state. Officials say many millions of euros worth of damage has been caused by extensive flooding. Of mercy given unto me day by day. I say, be thankful that I am the one who will uplift and guide you forth. I say, be thankful that I will give unto you the light upon the path that you can indeed be brought forth rejoicing in me. For I say, if you serve me with gladness, rejoicing, and the giving of praise, then you are guided in my way. Now I say, this day you are living in a time when multitudes have chosen of the gods and the mothers, and they go off in a way that will only bring them damnation of soul. And even though they are right in their own eyes, they are not right before me. And I say it is because they are choosing to be losing by believing in false gods. For I say that all of their gods are nothing but imitation, emulation, falsehood, and lies. And I say they do nothing except take men in the way of their own destruction, their own despair. I say this day be thankful that you can indeed keep looking unto me, believing in me and trusting in me, for I am the I am. And I say be thankful that it is me who guides you forth each day. I say be thankful that I do uplift thee, direct thee, and give to thee the light upon the path. For I say if it is me, the living God, that you keep believing and trusting in, it is me, the living God, who will give to you the newness of life that I provide. And I say that I will cause you to be uplifted and guided, directed and corrected each day. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do look upon what it is that men do to themselves in this wayward, perverse and vile generation. I say they take themselves down the road of despair. And I say all the while they live in an imagination, they are gaining something. I say they are gaining the way to hell. And I say, all the while they are so wise in their own conceit, believing in themselves and believing in their false gods. But I say, they are believing in lies, delusion, and the very course of damnation of soul. I say, this day when I, the living God, do call men to repent, that is exactly what they have need of to repent before me. And I say, when a man or woman will truly repent, then I say, they are able to be guided in me. And yes, they are able to be given the truth and the light, the strength and the hope each and every day. For I say it is me, the living God, who will give to the ones who will serve me the way wherein they are kept uplifted and guided in my way. But I say to the ones who choose other gods, I say they are given the way of desolation and despair. For I say that I, the living God, never intended that men would live in falsehood, delusion and lies. Yet I say because of sin, men choose that way and think they gain from it all. And I say in their darkness of mind, their stupidity, their dullness, they worship their idols all to their own destruction of soul. And I say it is a useless way that they live for they end in damnation. Now I say consider how futile it is to live upon this earth following false gods only to end in hell forever. Yet I say there are untold millions who do just that day after day. And I say it is me, the living God, who is speaking forth my call in the spirit for all men everywhere to repent. Yeah. And I say that the ones who will hear and obey will be brought into the way of my life. But I say that the ones who stubbornly, proudly defy me to go on in their own foolish ways, of course, they end in damnation. Now I say this day when men consider what it is to be in salvation, I say there are few who really perceive what it is. And I say it is because they have chosen the way of damnation and they are so dull they think they have achieved some great thing. And I say the achievement they think they've gained is their own destruction. Now I say when you look at how dull and dumb men have become through their sin, through their idolatry, through their darkness, I say it is a tragedy to behold. For I say that I don't have God never made men to be so dull, so dumb, so stupid, and yet they are. 
I say this day when I, the living God, do offer to my people the way of truth and life, and they will come forth accepting of the same, then I say they are able to be guided by me. And yes, they are given the blessedness, the truth, the mercy, and the hope day by day. Now I say this day, let it be me that you will continue to look to, let it be me that you will follow after and seek to please. For I say, if you will be accepting and not rejecting of the way that I give thee, then you are guided by me. And yes, you will be given the truth and the light, the strength, the hope, and the mercy day by day. And yes, you will be ever purposed in that which I give you, which is the truth always. I say this day that it is me, the living God, who is indeed bringing forth my wrath upon humankind because of their idolatry, because of their pride and rebellion and hatred towards me. Now I say, consider what a sorrow it is that I am the creator and men are the created, and yet they think they are higher than I. That is, they see themselves as lifted up in the heavenly dimensions far above and ruling forever. How absurd it all is what pride does to men. For I say, when they are drunk on pride, intoxicated, and under the delusion of the same, they think they are some great thing. But I say that the truth of it is, they are nothing but empty and vain, full of nonsense and delusion, and stuck in a way of pride. For I say that pride is literally a killer, for when men and women swell up on pride, then they think they can do as they please. That is, they stop respecting and fearing me, and they go in their own way. And I say that the way they choose is the way of destruction. I say this day that I, the living God, do call my people to walk in humility before me each and every day. That is, to seek my face, to seek my counsel, and be guided in my life. And I say that I call the ones who will be pleasing unto me to be ever strengthened by me. That is, to be uplifted, brought forth, guided, and directed in my way. For I say it is a privilege to believe upon me, to partake of me, and be brought forth by me day by day. And I say it is a privilege to know that it is me you can look to and believe. For I say if it is me, the living God, that you keep your focus, your vision upon, it is me who guides you forth. And it is me who will direct and correct you and give you exactly what you need. Now I say this day, be thankful that you can indeed be dependent upon me, that you can indeed be partaking of me, for I am the one who will give you life. And I say when you will indeed be looking unto me as the one who is able, you are kept in my way. And yes, you are given the strength, the truth, and the mercy of who I am, for I the living God am well able to give to you the same. And yes, you will be guided, uplifted, brought forth, and directed in the way of newness of life. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to dwell in the weariness, the dreariness of your own understanding, but I say that I call you to come forth renewed in me. And I say that I call you to be thankful that it is me you can look to day by day. For I say when you are partaking of that which I give you, then of course you are uplifted and renewed in me. And I say, when you are partaking of the blessedness, the strength, and the mercy, you are given hope in the same. But I say, when a man has only his dull and dumb idols to look to, when he has only his stupid self to believe in, such a man is a fool. For I say that his end will be full of despair and emptiness because he has chosen other gods. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call my people to go pouring from me, to take up the gods of the heathen and be made fools by the same. For I say that the gods and the ways of the heathen are useless, they are futile, and I say they are nothing but damnation of soul. I say this day that I, the living God, do intend that men would repent and return to me, that they could indeed be spared from my wrath. For I say it is me, the living God, who is bringing my wrath, my fury, my indignation upon the disobedient, upon the proud, the careless fools. And it is me, the living God, who will indeed be causing all who rebel against me to pay for their rebellion and wise conceit. For I say, when my wrath, my fury, my indignation are revealed, then men will scream and howl and moan and beg under the same. But I say, because of the waywardness and the carelessness and the hatefulness that they have reflected towards me, of course I will show no mercy unto them. That is, the ones who have been so stiff and hard in their hardness of heart, in their defiance of me. But I say to the ones who will indeed cry out in deep repentance before me and plead for my mercy, I say that I, the living God, will hear them when they cry. For I say there are some who are caught, caught up in the throes of existence who have not given thought unto me. 
But I say, when they are indeed humbled and brought low, then I say, they will see their need of me. And I say, they will cry out and call upon me. I say, this day, be thankful that you can indeed continue to serve me, to love me, and obey me, and be guided forth by me. And I say, be thankful that I, the living God, have given unto you the way of salvation, that you do not need to be taken in the way of damnation, as the multitudes perish in the same. But you can indeed be continuing in repentance revolution, calling for others to repent likewise. And you can indeed walk on the straight and narrow way of my life and be ever kept in me. For I say it is me, the living God, who will keep any and all who desires to be kept by me. And it is me, the living God, who will uplift, bring forth, and guide the ones who will be instructed in my way. For I say that the way that I offer, the way that I give, is the way of life. And I say when any man will truly humble himself and desire me, then he's kept in that way. But I say when you see the ones who have eyes full of adultery for the world, who have undue proud opinions of themselves, what do you see? I say you see the foolish, I say you see the wicked, the corrupt. For I say, when any man will think he is some great thing, he is living in a lie. And I say, when a woman will esteem she is some fanciful queen, she is nothing but a fool. I say, this day do not take the way of a fool and be brought down by the same. But I say, instead continue in the truth and the light that I offer day by day. And I say, be made glad for the privilege to believe and receive of me. And I say, be ever thankful that I am the one that you can look to and believe. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness and truth, the way of all mercy and hope, and the way that is peace provided. And I say, when you are ever thankful for my way, then yes, you are guided by me. And yes, you are given the blessedness, the truth, the mercy, the strength, and the hope that I provide. For I say it is me, the living God, who will not withhold any good thing from the ones who will believe upon me, trust me, and obey me each day. And it is me, the living God, who will cause to be brought forth the ones who give themselves over unto me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to walk afar off, to be taken in the way of the stubborn and the proud. But I say that I call you to be humbled each day to call upon me. For I say if you will truly look to me, believe upon me, and trust in me, then yes, you are guided forth by me. And yes, you are given the strength to continue, for I, the living God, will give unto you the same. Therefore I say this day, be glad to believe, be glad to receive, be glad to be guided each day by me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is truth and light, mercy and hope, and the peace given to all who are trusting in me. And it is me, the living God, who will show thee again and again and again that I am the miracle-working God. And I say that you will know those miracles as you trust in me. But I say that the ones who give way to unbelief, who worship other gods, who openly defy me and hate me, I say they will know nothing but my wrath upon them. For I say it is a time that I'm kindled in my rage against the perverse, the wicked, the abominable who desire other gods. And I say because they choose to rebel against me, I say it is me, the living God, who turns my anger upon them, and they shall die under the same. Genesis 26 because Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my charge, my commandments, my statutes, and my laws. James 2. And the scripture was fulfilled that says, Abraham believed God, and it was counted to him as righteousness. And he was called a friend of God. John 15. You are my friends if you do what I command you. 